We're the Sebastians. And this is our WPS story. I'm Mary Sebastian and I am the administrative assistant here at Stanley Elementary. My name is Molly Blades and I started working here as a co-op para when I was in college to be a teacher. And I got my first job here as a first grade teacher. And I am currently an ESOL para here and I am on maternity leave with my first baby. My name's Amy and I started here as a mixed abilities para and now I'm a speech language pathology assistant. I'm Rachel um, and I was a para in the mixed abilities classroom at Stanley and I am currently a PhD student at SUNY Binghamton in upstate New York. We had moved in the neighborhood and the girls did start here. We did PTA, it was called the Booster Club back then. Then I got a job as the clerical in the office here at Stanley and and that's just kind of how it started. Well, since our mom worked here um, and she was a volunteer, she would spend a lot of time before school, after school, even during the summer. And so we kind of got free reign of the school and got to run up and down the halls. And we have memories of playing hide and seek in the whole school and running up and down on the rolly carts. My hair got caught in the rolly carts wheel. I had to get a haircut. <laughs> and so we have a lot of fun memories oh, of God. getting to have <laughs> open reign of the school that nobody else got to. We felt very special. And the rolling cart is still here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same rolling it's cart. It's the yes. same one. <laughs> I was in college and I had no clue what I wanted to do. And all of a sudden we, there was an opening in the rec department here for before school and after school rec. And my mom said, hey, they need somebody to come and work. And so I started working here when I was 19 years old. And that kind of got my foot in the door here at school. That made me realize that I wanted to be a teacher and that I loved kids. I also just kind of fell into it. I needed a job. I just graduated from college and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like go to grad school or what exactly I was gonna do. Uh, and they needed somebody and so uh so yeah so i applied and interviewed and and got it and had a great time i learned a lot i just graduated and started right here at stanley and i thought it was super super special for all the reasons that i had worked here already i was very familiar with the kids my mom was here and at that point my little sister was here too i started working here because rachel had decided to go back to school and she called me up and it's like hey you'd be really good at this job you should apply and um, I fell in love with it. Then I decided to go back to school to become a speech language pathologist. And now I am a speech language pathology assistant. One step closer to getting my master's degree and becoming a SLP for the school district, hopefully. <laughs> I think Stanley's a special environment because there's such a need from the kids to be loved. They need that extra love and appreciation and they're just a special group of kids. It is not the shiniest, fanciest school in the district. Our neighborhood is not the shiniest, fanciest neighborhood in Wichita. I think growing up in the neighborhood I did, growing up knowing the people I did, that has given me an appreciation for diversity in a lot of different aspects, not just like ethnic diversity, but also like socioeconomic diversity has given me an understanding of the value of hard work. I love the families. I have kids now that went here when they were little and they're, they're grown up, they have children, and they're coming back here. I had a little boy come in, well he wasn't little, he's 25. He had went to college and it has his own business and he was just so proud. He said, this is where I came from and I wanted to come back and thank you. And so it was Aww. just, it was just great. You got all of us choked up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love Stanley because, well, I'm not going to lie. I just, I love being here with my mom, being able to see her every day is, um, it's really nice to come to work <laughs> and see your mom in the front office every day. It's kind of cool being treated like a rock star because you're Miss Mary's kid. Yeah. That is true. We can't go anywhere without her seeing children that she knows yeah. when they're like, they're like I was going to say the fact, and not only are they like 
the families that you know through where you work, but it's also like literally our community. It's our neighborhood. Like if if we walk around the block, you know, you're going to see all these families that everybody knows. Everybody knows my mom. You can't go to the neighborhood stores or anywhere without it's Miss Mary, you know, so it's not just a place of work, but it's like literally our community. Every year in my classroom, every year in my classroom, the fifth, sixth, seventh day of school, we had the, do you guys know who my mom is? Miss Mary, we had that talk and the little first graders' minds were always just so blown. And then and they then, go on to say, you're Miss Blade's sister. Or me getting called Miss Amy and her getting called Miss Blades. It's cute. It's really cute. The impact that Stanley has made on us is, is life-changing. Life -changing. Without Stanley, I wouldn't have known what I wanted to be, uh, to choose as a career. And same goes for me. If I hadn't started working with children here in the rec department, I couldn't tell you what I'd be doing. It's made us closer, I think. Yeah, it's all we talk about when we hang out is school, school kids <laughs> and our dad, my husband, they're just like, ugh. There they go. They're going to go They're talking talk about, about the school kids. again. <laughs> <laughs> Working with my children and is the best. I couldn't ask for anything better. They're very supportive and they do come by and check on me <laughs> quite often. And when they're not here, I miss them terribly. So, um, yeah, it's it's a wonderful it's been wonderful. I've just I just love it.